All right, what you're probably wanting to know is why do I have um, a solar power system, especially as you can see uh, in my basement. The biggest reason I have a solar power system is um, because of my basement. Uh, I have a sub pump and the house that I had before this one, uh, there was an instant where it was raining and raining and raining and our sub pump was keeping up uh, and it was in a, in a finished basement. Uh, but of course, then the power went out. And as soon as that power went out, sub pump turned off. And you know, the rest is history. It took me days of trying to clean it all up and a lot of stuff was ruined. And ever since then, I've always wanted to get some sort of battery backup for my sub pump. Uh, and then over time, it kind of grew into, okay, well maybe I could use some sort of solar powered system to uh, keep my sub pump backed up. So that's, that's kind of the reason why I got into uh, all of this. Uh, the nice thing is, is that my, uh, my father, uh, he goes on, on an RV every, every year and he goes boondocking, which means that he goes out into the middle of the desert and uh, lives out there for weeks at a time on just solar and stored up water uh, and stored up food that he has. So he uh, graciously let me borrow uh, a couple of you know, a couple of batteries. He gave me a, uh, uh, an MPPT solar controller uh, and also a, a couple of 100 watt solar panels. Um, so I went ahead and started it up just to see if it would run my sub pump and it did. Um, but I found out that it would not run it for more than, it wouldn't run it for more than 24 hours. Uh, especially uh, if there was a cloudy day, uh, it would deplete the batteries a lot quicker than what the solar system could generate. So, um, but at least I found out that it does work. Uh, if I'm here and the power goes out while it's storming, um, I can easily come down here, plug it in, and, uh, and be safe and, and have confidence that the sub pump will continue to run throughout the night and everything like that. Uh, since, since that, uh, it made me realize that I would like to be able to keep my sub pump plugged in 24 seven. That would mean that I need a, a bigger system, uh, but that's for another video. This video, I just kind of want to show you my current system, uh, how it's set up, what I have hooked into it, um, and, and a little bit of what it runs right now. So, um, yeah, here we go. All right. Things are a little different because right now my basement is running on pure solar. Um, uh, right now, as you can see, let me kind of show you around. Right now, what I have running is my workbench. Um, I have two LED lights. Um, and then also, as you can see over here, I have uh, three chargers from my Ryobi equipment right here. Um, and then also uh, some AA and AAA batteries that are charging as well. All of this is running on solar. And this could run on solar. This uses this whole setup right here when, uh, I mean, when the batteries are topped off and everything is just kind of uh, on standby, I guess you could say. With these lights on, it uses about 27 watts of power. And then we'll come in here. And also, this light up here is also being run by solar. And here is my solar system. What I have are two 100 amp uh, Wise AGM batteries connected in parallel. So that gives me about 200 amp hours of power. But since they're AGM, you can only use about 50% of it. So realistically, it gives me between 80 and 100 amp hours. It's connected to an 1100 watt inverter, which is currently running my uh, workbench in there. As you can see, I also have uh, an extension cord running upstairs, which powers my internet. Um, also, there is a 12 slot DC uh, fuse block right there 
and that runs three of these DC 3 watt lights. Uh, these lights are, as you can see, there's plenty of light because uh, what I wanted, if you know, if the power does go out, I wanted to be able to see see this setup, and so I made sure and put a light right above it, and um, it generates a lot of light. As you can see, let me turn it off. Yeah, see, it's completely dark in here. So yeah, just that one light at three watts, uh, it lights up this whole area, which is nice. And uh, over time, I'm going to hook up more of these lights in my basement, just so there's just so that there's more light down here, just in case you know, uh, just in case the power goes out. And then all of that is connected to my uh, 30 amp Renogy MPPT charge controller. Um, and then I have two wires that go up to my solar panels outside, which I will show you in a second. All right, what I have here are my two solar panels. Uh, they're currently connected in parallel, which uh, they produce 200 watts of solar power, uh, each one of them being a 100 watt solar panel. Uh, the one on the right is a rich solar, 100 watt solar panel. And the one on the left is a Renogy 100 watt suitcase solar panels. These two solar panels are wired in parallel, which gives me 200 watts of power. All right, uh, a little bit more about my current solar powered system. Uh, the wiring, what I have coming in is a 10 gauge wire going in from the solar panels to my MPPT controller. And then from there I have uh, uh, more 10 gauge wire running to the batteries. Then I also have 10 gauge wire running from the batteries to the fuse block. And uh, from the fuse block, that's what powers my DC lights, which are running with 18-gauge uh, speaker wire. Uh, that speaker wire is uh, thick enough to run a 3-watt light all day and not have a problem. All right, this system, which is running that DC light, and again, these two LED lights, um, some battery chargers, um, and some double a and triple a battery charging uh let's see what how long it can do all that for so let's just say that uh you know that that's a hundred amp hour system and it runs at 12 volts so to figure out the watt hours you just multiply those together so that's 1,200 watt hours, okay? Now, like I said before, this whole system, I have a three watt light, so three watt light, uh, plus this whole setup in here, which uses about 27 watts uh, from the inverter. Uh, but that inverter itself uses power as well. So let's just say this equals 30. And I mean, let's just, let's just multiply it by two. So let's just say it's 60 watts. Um, I would actually have to get back to you on if that inverter actually uses 30 watts, but I'm not sure. It probably doesn't. It probably uses more like 10, something like that, but I just don't know. So we'll go we'll go high and say that we'll just double it and we'll make it 60 watts. So, 1200 watts, if you divide 1200 by 60, you get 20 hours. Because this is 1200 watt hours and this is 12 this is 60 watts per hour. So, you divide those, you get 20 hours. So theoretically, I could leave these lights on, charge these batteries, and run that three watt light above the solar powered system for 20 hours uh, without charging or anything like that. 
But since you have the solar panels connected to it, if you get any sun at all, it will, you know, pump some juice in there. So this is only, 20 hours is only if there were no solar panels connected to this system at all. Uh, since there are solar panels, I could probably run this system indefinitely because of because it's only using 60 watts an hour and I have 200 watts of solar panels outside. And let's just say that it's cloudy every other day. It would still produce enough power to to keep this this current setup running 24-7. With all that being said, I know that my solar powered system uh, cannot handle everything that I want it to do. What I want it to do is I want it to run my sub pump 24-7, continuous, uh, so it's the sub pump is then worry free. Um, I also want to be able to run the lights that are in this, um, in this workshop. Also I want to be able to charge the batteries that are in this workshop. Um, I also want to connect um, a few more items to my DC fuse block. Uh, right now I have 9 watts worth of lights. Um, I would like to be able to at least double that and make it so this whole basement um, is lit up in case of a power outage. Um, also I would like to be able to connect up uh, some USB chargers because just like everybody else in the world, uh, Everyone needs to be able to charge their devices. Um, and there's no reason to have a device unless you have internet. So I want to be able to keep my internet up and running. Um, and then depending on what, what can happen, I would also like to be able to uh, maybe keep a TV plugged in. Um, oh, hey, better. Uh, yeah, I'd like to be able to keep TV plugged in, um, and also my media server, uh, just some stuff upstairs to be able to uh, keep us entertained in case the weather's bad and people are, are worried. So, I've already got on order um, two new solar panels, which are 200 watts each, so that'll give me uh, a max wattage of 400 watts of solar. Um, which basically doubles what I have now. And that is the max that I can use with my 30 amp um, charge controller. So uh, if I need to go, if I need to get more solar panels, I need to buy a, a new charge controller. So I'm just kind of going with 400 watts now. And we'll see how that, how that does. Um, I'm also uh, upgrading my battery bank. Uh, currently I have two 100 amp hour AGM batteries connected in parallel. Um, but again, you can only use 50% of those uh, because of degradation of the battery if you go below that. Um, so what I, what I did was I purchased a uh, 300 amp hour Chins um, lithium ion phosphate battery I may also do some reviews on, uh, you know, the battery, uh, the solar panels, the uh, even the DC lights that I'm using right now. That way you'll be able to follow exactly what I do when it comes to the upgrading of the system, um, how it's all connected together, um, any problems that I run into. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to follow me on this journey of uh, being able to get more and more items plugged into my system that runs off the sun. The reason that I created this channel is not really to teach you how to set everything up. Um, I will be making more videos of how I set stuff up, but I am not guaranteeing by any means that it will be correct or that it's the most efficient way of doing it. Um, I don't know all the terminology. I don't know about battery degradation. I, you know, that stuff I'll have to learn as I go. Uh, but what I do really want to show you is what a solar powered system can do for you and as you get a bigger system the more items that you can add to it uh, 
you know, to be able to make it work for what your needs are. Um, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and I've read a lot of stuff, but it doesn't seem like anyone really shows what they're powering and how long they're powering it for, kind of real world applications. Uh, I mean, for home. Uh, you know, there's plenty of people that have RVs, vans, um, or full house systems, you know, and, and that's, a, that's perfect. I mean, a solar system of my size could do, could power a van uh, probably just fine. Uh, but what I'm using it for is to be able to, you know, back up a sub pump uh, and run some lights, uh, kind of keep a few creature comforts. Uh, in case uh, in case the weather goes bad and the power goes out. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you know if you learned something that's great and please if you have any questions about anything that I'm using or um, or any of the things that I'm powering I guess you could say uh, please leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you so much.